House Speaker Mike Johnson is moving forward with a vote on four separate foreign aid bills, three of which would provide funding for Israel, Ukraine and the Indo-Pacific region. The fourth contains Republican priorities like a measure to allow the U.S. government to sell seized Russian assets to fund Ukraine and turn Ukraine aid into a loan. The Senate passed a $95 billion foreign aid package in February and sent it over to the House where it's been sitting ever since. Senators are now warning Johnson not to make changes to their package, otherwise they'd have to reapprove it. Democrats want the House to pass their bill as is. If there are changes, then it becomes unacceptable because we have to vote on it again. I think that the Speaker should simply do the Senate bill, do his job, quit dallying and stalling, and do the bill that was approved by an overwhelming bipartisan majority. Republican Senator Tom Tillis was open to separating their bill into multiple parts, but also warned against making changes to the substance. I, I don't care how the sausage is made. We just need something that needs to go to the president's desk. Hopefully it's something that we can accept as is and send along because I think going back and forth between chambers could uh, constitute a lot of time and we don't have a lot of time in Ukraine. Johnson is going to need Democratic support to get these bills to the floor and ultimately approved. House Democrats are warning Johnson that he won't receive that support if there is no humanitarian aid for civilians in Gaza. The Senate bipartisan bill had four components, aid to Israel, aid to Ukraine, humanitarian assistance, and aid to Indo-Pacific. Uh, if Speaker Johnson's version is missing one of these components, it's highly unlikely Democrats would support it. Just the announcement of a vote on the foreign aid was enough to get Congressman Thomas Massey to ask Johnson to resign and join Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene's motion to vacate, which would force a vote on ousting Johnson. Uh, I am not resigning, and it is, um, it is, in my view, an absurd notion that someone would bring a vacate motion when we are simply here trying to do our jobs. Um, it is not helpful to the cause. It is not helpful to the country. It has not helped the House Republicans advance our agenda. If a motion to vacate is officially brought forward, multiple House Democrats said they would vote to save Johnson. Straight from D.C., I'm Ray Bogan.